What's up everyone? It's Natalie here and I am vlogging today. I am home right now. I just got back from Boston slash New York this morning. I was in New York for the past week apartment hunting. I am back at home at my family's house. I'm driving Chloe's car. I have just like a lot of updates I want to get give you guys but today is kind of getting my life together and running on four hours of sleep because I had to wake up this morning at 3 a.m. for my flight because I had a 5 a.m. flight like I've never had a flight that left that early the earliest I think before I've had is like 6 a.m. or like 5 45 but this flight legit left at 5 a.m. I was just like so early I got into Charlotte at 7 which was nice surprisingly I'm not that tired right now but I feel like I'm going to be tired throughout the day but I just have a lot of like random stuff I need to do so right now I just showered and I'm headed to get laser hair removal a lot of you guys have actually asked me questions on laser hair removal so I am going to answer them on this vlog for you guys but it's about 30 minutes away now that I'm back at home and not my apartment because I have moved out of my apartment I literally moved out in one day and then I reformatted my memory card and all of the vlog footage is gone <laughs> literally it is all gone so I'm really sorry about that but there are move in vlogs there will be plenty of but yeah I moved out of my apartment in like a day but right now I'm headed to my laser hair removal place and let's go before I'm late because I'm about to be late if I don't leave this second <laughs> at the Starbucks that I would always go to literally almost every morning in high school. Um, memories. <laughs> okay, there is a very long line at the Starbucks. Of course, it's moving the second I take my camera out. It was not moving this entire time. But I felt like I should address some laser hair removal questions as I'm waiting. So what I get done is my full arm, my full bikini, and then my underarms. And I think I paid $2,200 for all of those. I have seven or eight sessions, and then I get another touch-up session in a year. So that is the rate I got. I, it was like buy two, get one free type of thing for me. So it's pretty expensive. I split it up into four different payments just so I didn't all pay it at once. So I just finished my last payment today. Um, and now like the rest of the sessions I don't have to pay anymore, which is nice because this was my fourth session. After about one session, I already started noticing it. Like, literally, my bikini would not grow for so long. And, like, my underarms, guys, it's only been this is my fourth session, but before this, I haven't shaved. Like, I haven't shaved since, like, the last session to now. Like, my underarms is basically totally gone already, and you don't see, like, any, like, the shadow you know like you barely see that now and i feel like that's gonna get better and then my full arm i did and i have i'm like just a very hairy person overall tmi but yeah my mom's hispanic my dad's romanian they both have a lot of hair it's just in my family and i have very very dark hair and i would always get made fun of for my arms and i just had like I don't know for some reason my arm hair was like really bad so I would always get waxes and I always went to the European wax center and I would always get waxes same with my bikini area but I was just like I don't want to get waxes anymore I just want to get laser so I started doing that it's basically gone the hair it's very 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 patchy so I do still think I I definitely like am going to see more progress with my arms but yeah it's pretty pretty good honestly and then with my bikini like i said after the first time i noticed such a difference but there it, it is more patchy and she told me that that the bikini is very patchy so by the end of the sessions then i will be good so you can't see the sun which that's the only thing the last time my arms saw the sun were three weeks ago um i mean i've been like out and about it's been summer but like i tanned three weeks ago so that is like the only bad thing if i were you guys i would wait till the winter to get it but i I highly recommend and I go to satin med spa in Charlotte if any of you guys are wondering where I go I really 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 like the lady there or the ladies there and it's just like a really nice med spa and I felt like the prices were competitive with the other people and they always do specials if you guys have more questions comment down below because I'm about to pay for my order <laughs> I am about to make lunch I'm making green chef my family got green chef this week I do have a coupon code just from like doing sponsored videos in the past but this is not sponsored by them but if you guys want to use my coupon code I'll have it in the description if you guys want to try it but I'm making this like chicken with harissa apricot sauce and my mom threw away the recipe um menu but thankfully they have them online so i'm glad about that but i'm just gonna make it, it looks so yummy 
So I'm just relaxing right now. Watching Justin Gabriel, the robe is back. This robe has not made an appearance in my videos in so long, but it's back, you guys. So I'm just laying in my bed at my new home because my parents moved, so it's so weird being here. It doesn't feel like home. And I am watching the new Jess and Gabriel video. I'm not sure if I've seen the, everything in their series, but this is when she surprises her family, family in Australia. And I'm really excited to watch this one. But, oh my gosh, I am so tired, you guys. I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm back again. I'm watching Brooke Michio's vlog, her work week in my life, or like things get real is the title. And I'm like having, I'm relating to it so much, not anymore, but everything she's saying, I felt so much when I had my like normal job. And I feel like it's so ridiculous how some people get hate for like their work environment or people get hate for it. Like I remember I would get hate comments because of, I was like able to get off at 5 p.m. and like people were like oh well I don't get off until 8 so like you're not working hard because you get off at 5 or like um how do you have time to do YouTube and work like you clearly aren't working hard or like oh well when I'm a consultant I work 14 hour days and blah 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 like people will hate on you no matter what and she's saying how like people were hating on her because she had like a pillow at her desk or whatever and it's like for her back and if you don't understand like people would literally get mad at me because i was wearing two things that are too casual for work like i don't work at your office so yeah i'm gonna wear this like <laughs> it's just so ridiculous and obviously it's literally 0.1 percent but of course you hear that especially like during a transition and right now i get hate comments on my videos because it's like you quit you're like just a stereotypical blah 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 like you don't know anything you're trying to do like your own consulting and you're only 23 like you're so dumb like blah 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 and it's just like you have to ignore it and it's so 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 hard to ignore it because just imagine picture yourself just living your life and everything you do is nitpicked by someone and of course we like choose to do this and stuff like i love youtube and even though that's like a negative thing i would never ever ever stop doing youtube because of it and i'm so grateful for all of you guys but it's just like watching her video i'm like oh yeah i remember that i remember that feeling and stuff like that so i just want to tell her that everything does actually do get better like not and i'm not saying like she should quit to get better like no just like in general like as i was working like things got a lot better too it's just like an initial transition but yeah i'm just watching that and relating to it hard um but if you guys want to watch like work week in my life so i definitely recommend brooke if you guys have not heard of her or seen her channel she's really really good and i totally get that like slump of like literally all i film is vlogs like it's so boring but i do think like for me personally i i feel like i want to give you guys what you want like i tried doing videos that like aren't really vlogs and they did horribly and i like filming vlogs the most so even though it is kind of repetitive i i like doing them the most and you guys like seeing them the most so that's why i do a lot of them but yeah like me sitting in bed i'm like this is so boring this is so repetitive but i do think that you guys actually like this so i just want to come on here and kind of send good vibes her way <laughs> show her support because i like totally related to literally every single thing she's saying and people can be really 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 mean and life can get really really stressful but anyways i am watching her video while i'm also like submitting stuff for my apartment so i like forgot to submit some things for my apartment so i'm submitting that it's like kind of stressful because i'm like well if i don't get approved what do i do i'm also trying to budget so right after i watch this video i'm about to budget and then drinking my starbucks i'm actually not drinking it but i should because it's over there and i'm third like i'm i'm craving coffee so yeah this is a very casual vlog but i honestly feel like i haven't had one of these vlogs in so long so i'm happy to be doing them again like the robe is back is when you know it's casual wanted to give you guys a room tour of my room also i know i was talking about laser hair removal and i don't want to like have satin meds get a bad rep because it's not their fault so because it is the summer and my shoulders are exposed a lot and you're not supposed to see the sun um like during like while you're doing laser hair removal i just like didn't think about it at all like i didn't think about like oh my shoulders have seen the sun quite a bit this summer 
and even within these two weeks you know i've been wearing lots of tank tops and stuff like that and like they're just like more exposed versus my arms are like down on my side so they might not be as exposed i literally got so like burnt by the laser on my shoulders in like weird circular bruises things i don't know they're they're not lifted at all they're very they're like flushed against my skin it kind of looks like bruises but it's a burn and it it hurt at first but now like i don't really feel it at all but yeah i know i i don't think this is gonna like be permanent or anything i hope not but yeah i wanted to show you guys that like that's not good this is why you should get this done in the winter not the summer because the sun is a lot less strong and you're not wearing like tank tops every single day but it's gonna go away which is good but yeah i look a little ridiculous i wanted to address it too because you guys are definitely gonna see it like <laughs> that's the only place like the rest of my arms are totally fine and I still would recommend Satin Med Small. I just think it's, like, my fault because I have been out and about. And, like, definitely my shoulders have felt the sun. So, yeah. It looks like it hurts way more than it does. It, like, burnt a little bit. But, like, it's really not that bad. But it just, like, looks really weird. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Lola, which is today's sponsor for the video. I am obsessed with Lola. I have been using them for a, quite a long time, honestly, probably a few months already I've been using them. And what it is, is it is a subscription company that is for feminine products. So you can get pads, panty liners, tampons. I specifically love using their tampons and I like it because it is a company made by women for women, which I think is so important i really love supporting companies that are women founded but also have a good cause and if you guys didn't know this which i did not know before i heard about lola was that the fda does not require tampon companies to disclose their ingredients so a lot of tampon companies can include chemicals in there and they don't have to tell us which honestly is really scary because a tampon is literally going inside of your body and staying in there for eight hours so what lola does is they make tampons and feminine products but their tampons are 100 percent cotton only and that is the only ingredient the packaging is so cute and sleek it's white it's light blue and it's not like an annoying hot pink color that so that everyone knows you have a tampon in your bag which i mean i don't care if people know i have tampons because hello i am a girl yes i get my period i just really love what the company stands for and also anytime that you purchase a subscription they give one to a women's shelter they give feminine products to a women's shelter i love supporting companies that do these sorts of things because to me it's really important to give my money where like it's actually helping other people like even tampons which is something that i take for granted that some women don't have access to tampons some women can't afford tampons and lola is actually making a difference and i just love that so so much if you guys want 40 percent off your first subscription then click the link down below and use my code also another cool thing that i really love is that they're totally customizable so if you guys want like three light tampons and five heavy ones and four regular ones or whatever in a box you can totally customize each individual box i am so excited to be working with them on this video so thank you so much to lola for sponsoring today's video and again if you guys want to check them out please do so be sure to get your coupon click on my link down below use my code thank you so much lola for sponsoring today's video also i wanted to give you guys a room tour of my new room at my parents house so this is all my room stuff from my old house and i sold all my furniture so quickly i sold all my furniture in one day in my apartment so i don't have any of that here anymore but it's quite a mess as you can see it's just like not organized at all and i don't really know how to organize it i also got rid of most of my closet actually so this is my entire closet now which to some people is a lot of clothes but i am telling you guys i had so many clothes and the fact that this is like all the clothes that i own is really really impressive i'm really trying to downsize for new york i might even do one final cleaning of my closet but yeah that is like it it's just crazy how much i've downsized and yeah i just have like another robe here my belts my bags i gave away like all of my purses so these and then like my new gucci bag that i have um are the only bags that i own now and then hey, this desk just has like so much stuff on it oh my gosh i got a chromebook sent to me from google and i'm really excited to try it out they just sent it to me which i'm so so thankful for i think it's like the coolest thing is that like what why did i get sent this this is so nice so i really want to try it out i haven't even opened it yet um and then i have some skincare that was sent some 
shampoo and conditioner that was sent. I just have like my random stuff from my trip. My toiletry bag. Lola tampons, of course. My care of vitamins. I have like one left in there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like dirty clothes right here. It's just like a huge, huge mess. And this is so funny. This is actually my best friend in high school made this for me, Alden, for my 17th birthday. So it's just so funny. She made this collage. And it's so, it's crazy that I'm 17, 16 in these pictures basically because it was for my 17th birthday. And I'm like my little brother's age and that is just so weird. And it has a note on the back. So it's cute now that I moved, like having all of these memories like from high school and stuff like that and college oh here's a bunch of more shoes okay yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do a whole like move out vlog where i like completely like marie condo my whole entire life but that's not gonna be today i did just want to give you an update on my room situation and then i do have my own bathroom in here which is really nice but yeah it's just kind of like a huge mess and that's okay <laughs> me and my mom made this uh pimento cheese and like corn pesto pizza with the non flatbread it looks really interesting <laughs> it's from green chef so i'm excited to try it i am about to go to bed right now and i have my wisdom teeth surgery tomorrow so i am getting my wisdom teeth out tomorrow morning just got some bad news today regarding new york so i will be giving you an update eventually but yeah Anyways, um, I am going to bed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.